apocalyptic 140 fires blanket Russian region bordering Ukraine. Social media footage shows massive fires and smoke in Russia's Rostov region, Rostov, in southwestern Russia, borders Luhansk and Donetsk. It produces over a tenth of Russia's grain. Reuters reported that early spring frosts and a drought this year reduced productivity by about a third. Due to dry, hot weather, high fire danger exists, the Ministry of Regional Policy announced a state of emergency in Aksaysky and Neklanovsky districts, TASS reported Monday. Media sites reported more than 50 fires on Sunday, endangering residential buildings and forcing evacuations. Regional Governor Vasily Galyabev reported 140 fires by Monday. Local newspaper Rostov Gazeta claimed that local citizens have compared the situation in the city to the apocalypse. The outlet reported that dry grass near Aksaysky was on fire and had reached the left bank of the Don River. More than 2,000 firemen and 300 pieces of equipment battled Sunday's wind driven fires. Drivers couldn't see in Rostov on non smoke. On Sunday, the Ministry of Emergency Situations reported a 16,000 square foot fire that destroyed six residential buildings. Other buildings in nearby communities caught fire, forcing evacuations. City residents have complained about the bad smell of burning, smoke, and ash, and those with lung issues should stay indoors. Telegram updates by Galyabev showed how far the fires had spread. He blamed high winds, overlapping electricity wires and reckless handling for the fires on Sunday. He reported at 8 p.m. Sunday that 29 buildings in the Aksaysky and Neklanovsky districts had been destroyed, but no one was killed and all residents who lost their houses and goods will be helped. Point three districts of the region extinguished 9.5 hectare forest fires by day's end. Galyabev reported roughly 140 fires in the region on Monday morning damaging 30 buildings and burning 13 residential dwellings. A former International Legion volunteer called Ryan Wesley Routh, the suspect in a second Trump assassination attempt, delusional and a liar for claiming to have recruited for the organization. Routh, 58, is in arrest after an attempted murder of Trump, 78, at the Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach, Florida, on Sunday. FBI, Trump survived what seems to be an assassination attempt. The Trump campaign said the former president was safe following gunshots in his vicinity at his golf club, the alleged gunman told Newsweek Romania in June 2022 that he recruited volunteers for Ukraine's ground forces International Legion Defense of Ukraine. He told the New York Times in 2023 that he tried to attract Taliban exiting Afghan soldiers to the Ukrainian army. Russia has used his statements to accuse Routh of being recruited by Ukraine to assassinate the former U.S. president who has questioned the amount of military aid and backing for Kiev during the three-year war. I wonder what would happen if it turned out that the failed new Trump shooter Routh, who recruited mercenaries for the Ukrainian army, was himself hired by the neo-Nazi regime in Kiev for this assassination attempt, asked former Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev, a close Putin ally, on Twitter on Monday. However, the International Legion for the Defense of Ukraine stated that Routh, a former Greensboro construction worker, had never been member of, associated with, or linked to it in any capacity. On Monday from Kiev, Evelyn Aschenbrenner, a U.S. citizen from Detroit, Michigan, told Newsweek that Routh has been delusional and a liar. She worked for the International Legion from March 2022 in administration and then as a recruiter ever since leaving the International Legion in mid-June, Aschenbrenner has warned on social media that Routh is not, and never has been, linked with the International Legion or the Ukrainian Armed Forces at all.